Good evening, America. Welcome to Decision Making 2020. Trump's down in California this afternoon. He's jumping in there ahead of uh, the Democratic debate, which it looks like little Mikey bought his way into. I hadn't heard much about this guy, so I started doing some due diligence. And this little Mikey is quite the character. He's the one that was going to clean New York up by grabbing all black kids, throwing them up against the wall and frisking them and taking their firearms. He's also the one that says all you got to do is get yourself a black nanny. He's also the one that said that young African Americans and Anglo or Latinos from the ages of 15 to 25 are not employable. They don't want to work. They don't know how to work. They don't know how to develop any job skills, and they don't even know how to act on a job. The most racist person I've ever seen in public office. And it keeps getting better, folks, because I'm thinking, hmm, he's a Democrat, and he just badmouthed all blacks and all Latinos, all the Mexicans. Now, the only way he's going to get votes is through his brainwashed Blacks that remain with the Democrats, the party of the Ku Klux Klan, Jim Crow, and slavery. That's all they've ever been about. That's all they'll ever be about is enslaving Americans. Now then, this afternoon I see where he's going after the LBGTQ. Dude, now you got absolutely nobody to vote for you. All right? And I think... It's a lying Democrat, okay? Because he came into this picture saying, I'll spend $100 million. We need a new president. Then, as of last Saturday, he spent $415 million. It went from $1 to $2 million. And then he found out how much advertising, political advertising, cost outside of the Bloomberg network when you use some more different fake news and lamestream media, just what they're charging. They all make their money on the Democrats. All the lamestream media, your MS-13, your Clinton News Network, their whole income is based on the Democrats and their political party. Now, Bloomberg owns the Democrat political party machine, Bloomberg Advertising, and he's got newspapers, he's got television, he's got advertising. This is where he made his $55 billion. But I thought it was funny, he said he'd spend a million. Then a week later, he said he'd spend two million. Then about three weeks ago, after he had spent well in excess of over 200 million, he says, I'll spend a billion to become president. Now, that was three weeks ago. Today, he's saying he'll spend two billion of his 58 to run Trump out of office, which I think is hilarious, okay, because I crunch numbers. Now, we, when we say Trump got 65 million votes, those are the votes that were reported, folks. There had to be 10, 15 million that he got that they either converted to Democrat or they were not reported at all. You see, back here a couple years ago at the election, the midterms, there were congressmen around Chicago that went to three or four different polling booths, Republican congressmen, and every time they would flip the Republican lever, the Democrats got to vote. So every time you voted Republican, the Democrats got to vote. I'm sure when you voted Democrat, it came out Democrat. That's why they're 90% Democrat in Chicago. So there's voter fraud going on. The Democrats have been guilty of that for years. We know that. Started out back that I'm aware of with Kennedy when he bought the vote with the help of the mob. Only he didn't do what he told the mob he would do, and so the mob got rid of him. His little brother didn't do what he said he was going to do for the mob. Mob got rid of him. Imagine that. You get in bed with the wrong people, you can't pay the piper. They didn't pay the piper. They did eventually with their life. Now, we got them out in New York giving driver's license to all illegal aliens. And New York is just like Michigan. 
When you go in Michigan to get your driver's license, you're automatically registered to vote. How about that? Now we got over 20 million illegal aliens in New York that are voting. Democrat. Who says they don't interfere with the elections? Now it's against, and Trump is not above the law. Of course, all the Democrats are, they don't have any laws. It's not even rape if you're a Democrat. Ask them. So Bloomberg is racist. The only thing I, I haven't found anything on him is anti-Semitic. But I just started looking at him today. I found pictures of him with Epstein. You know, like second in command on the Senate, Schumer. When Epstein got a race, uh, arrested two months prior to his suicide... Which, by the way, Epstein, drywall, and Christmas decorations. Three things that don't hang themselves, okay? He had to give back. Schumer had to refund $16,500 in campaign contributions from old Jeffrey. And Jeffrey was friends with little Mikey. Of course, when you're as little as Mikey, you might need younger girls. Because you're a little guy. Don't know. But this is the best thing they got because they're going to do Bernie again. Bernie is going to feel the burn. He got burned by Hillary. He's going to get burned by Bloomberg, little Mikey. The Democrats are going to burn Bernie. He's running away with the race. They tried to say he interfered with the election by having Joe Biden investigated. Are you kidding me? He's done more in three years than Joe Biden's done in 30 years in Congress. He's running on record, son. There is no competition on the Democratic side. So he can't interfere with the election. And you guys need to stop trying. Just wanted to get a quick one out here. Because tonight, little Mikey's either going to take off and find his wings, or he's going to turn and burn. Somebody tells me... Bernie's going to go after him with, for trying to buy his way into the presidency. And the other side's going to be hitting him for his frisk, his prejudices, his blatant racism. Of course, the Democrats normally embrace racist. That's who they are. Look at their staff. Oh, yeah. Their words and their actions speak for themselves. Thank you, Jesus. God bless everybody that could join us today. If you enjoyed this, hit like, share, and subscribe. And I made my New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution was I was not going to shave until a Democrat told the truth. They let that feller out with gray hair that went in with black hair. Goklovich, Boklovich, the governor from Illinois got a pardon. The Democratic governor from Illinois got a pardon from our Republican president who had no interest whatsoever, was going to do absolutely nothing for him politically, but is fair. And today, that young man, that gentleman, sang the praises of our president and he's the first Democrat I've heard speak kindly of our president, of our commander-in-chief. He said he's not a typical politician, the reason I got my brain fart. You know how that goes when you're getting old? How he got uh, released, early released, how he got his pardon. Uh, he said Trump is a businessman who takes care of business and he gets things done wasn't a political move, it was a fair move. He looks at things that aren't fair and he tries to make them right. He talked about all the bills that he's passed, prison reform, First Amendment, Second Amendment, how he's helping them to protect our rights. He's talked about how he's protecting the life of the unborn. And I don't know if he can vote or not. He said he wasn't sure at this point himself, but if he could, he was going to vote for Trump. He's what they call a Trumpcrat. 
I guess there's more and more of them coming over that are becoming Trumpocrats. Things like Nancy Pelosi tearing up people's life stories when their brothers are killed by an illegal alien, but you don't care because you're for sanctuary cities and a sanctuary state. You don't care that innocent Americans get killed. Before I wrap this thing up, just so you know why it's one of my hot buttons, mass murders is a terrible, terrible thing. Last year, we or in 2018, we lost 198 people to mass shootings where some wild man with a gun went crazy. And every time that happens, you see the Democrats shift into high gear from gun grabbing. We're going to take your AR-15s. We're going to take this. We're going to take that. Why don't we take and make our borders safe? Because in that same year that, God forbid, we lost 198 people to mass murders, in 2018, we lost 10,000 Americans killed by illegal aliens. 10,000. How much money is California worth, Nancy? You're getting paid off by the drug cartel. There's no other way you could sell America out. There's no way anybody in their right mind would leave their state and their city that open, that susceptible to crime, violence, killing, murder, rape, and pillage. What's California worth these days, Nancy? Inquiry minds want to know. Nancy, put it in the comment section below, okay? I'd like to know. I won't even mention it. We'll keep it confidential. They're giving you 25 or 50 million a year to keep the borders open so they can run their drugs and their human sex trafficking rings and their fentanyl across the border. What's it worth, Nancy? Put it in the comments below. Folks, like I said, Mikey's either going to find his wings tonight off his little stool. Trump said he's not allowed a stool during the debate, so I hope he don't get one. He's either going to find his wings or he's going to crash and burn. It's going to be that simple. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to go grab a quick bite to eat. We got smoked burgers tonight with uh, smoked Gouda cheese, bacon, Light thin slice of onion and a thin slice of mater on top of that because I'm not crazy about lettuce. You guys have a blessed day. Thanks for joining us. Please pray for our president and pray for America. If you get bored, you can pray for me. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll get back to you real soon. By the way, my New Year's resolution was I was not going to shave until a Democrat told the truth. And when he came out of prison today, he told the truth, or yesterday, the today during his interview, he told the truth on what a great job President Trump is doing. And he's a Democrat. So I got to shave today. I don't look like the beast anymore. And we know it's all fun and games until the cops show up, right? Officer Tatum will tell you that. Idiot out. Keep up the good work. You guys be blessed. Have a blessed day. Like, share, and subscribe, and pray for our president. We're out. We'll see you soon.